In the previous video, I showed you how to work with sine x, and we did an example in both degrees and radians. In this video, I'm going to do the same for cosine. So, first of all, we're going to solve cosine of x equals one half between 0 and 360. So make sure you draw a sketch of cosine in degrees. So there's 360, there's 180, there's 0. And because we're solving cos x equals 1 half, 1 half is here. So we would be expecting two solutions between 0 and 360. So the first solution can be found by inverse cosine of 1 half. Now make sure your calculator is in degrees, which mine isn't. So inverse cos of 1 half gets you 60 degrees. So that gives you the first solution, 60. Now, like the sine curve, the cosine curve um, has symmetry to it. So if this distance between the top of the curve and that first solution is 60 degrees, then this distance from 360 to the second solution must also be 60 degrees. And so you can find the second solution by taking 60 away from 360. So these are the two solutions that I'm looking for. Okay? And it's quite straightforward to do that. So let's look at another example. So we're going to look at solving cos of 2x um, is equal to 1 over root 2. So very similar to the first video, what we did, but I want to show you how it works for cosine. And this time we're going to be in radians. So, we sketch cosine, like we just did, but in radians, and we're doing it between 0 and 2 pi. Okay? So we just sketch the normal uh, curve for cosine, not stretched in any way, just the normal cosine curve between 0 and 2 pi. 1 over root 2, I've got two solutions there. So I inverse cosine both sides. Okay, make sure your calculator is in radians. So inverse cosine of 1 over root 2 is, four, is one, 1 quarter pi, or pi over 4. So that's my first solution. So you can see I can get my second solution by doing 2 pi take away pi over 4 in much the same way as I did the last one. So that's 8 pi over 4, so I've now got 7 pi over 4. Okay, so they are the two solutions that I would get if I was solving cos x equals 1 over root 2. But I'm solving cos of 2x. Now once, as again, this is a stretch in the x direction by a factor of a half. So that means that the period of cosine has also been halved. It is now pi rather than 2 pi. So, in order to get all of the solutions, now this is what the cosine curve would look like for cos of 2x, so you can see that I would be getting four solutions there. So, I can get the first two by dividing through by 2. So, 2x equals pi over 4, so x is equal to pi over 8. That would be that solution there. 2x equals 7 pi over 4, so x would be equal 7 pi over 8, so that would be that solution. And so to get the other two solutions, I can do exactly the same as I did before. I can add the period of the curve, so add pi. So pi over 8 plus pi will get me 9 pi over 8, so that's this solution. And then 7 pi over 8 plus pi um, will get me 15 pi over 8. Okay? 
So that's how I can get the solutions that I need. Um, once you key into the fact that sine and cosine have this period of pi, if you're looking at cos 2x, or if it was cos of 3x, it would have a period of 2 pi over 3, okay? So you're always dividing um, the 2 pi by that number that's in front of the x to work out the period here. Once you know that, you can just add multiples of that amount to your initial solutions in order to find all the ones between the two values that you're looking at.